So in this video, we've got two jugs of water, and let's say that one of the jugs holds four gallons, and the other holds nine gallons. So we have a four gallon jug and a nine gallon jug. So we have those two, and we have some kind of unlimited supply of water, like a hose. And we need to measure out water. What can we measure and what can't we measure with that hose and these two jugs right here? So the, the riddle is, well, try and measure out every gallon measurement, every whole number gallon, gallon measurement between one and nine. So including one, you can measure two and three and four and so forth. So that's the riddle. How do we use this hose and these two containers to measure out all these gallons of water? Um, so, so I have an approach, and uh, I think it's pretty efficient, but you might have a much better one. Um, anyway, try to solve it. Pause the video, come back, let's compare solutions. Uh, if you're stuck, obviously you can watch this, but it's a really great riddle. So I definitely suggest you try it on your own. So what do I notice right away? And this is my answer. Uh, well, first of all, I notice I have a nine gallon and a four gallon jug. So if I want to measure four gallons, I can fill the four gallon jug. Great. If I want to measure the nine gallons, I can fill the nine gallon jug. And now I've already got two done. What can I do next? Well, if I fill up the nine gallon jug with water, right? There'll be nine gallons in here, and I can pour that in the four gallon jug. Well, assuming the four gallon jug was empty to begin with, if I empty all I can from the nine gallon jug into here, how much will be left? Well, there are nine gallons and we poured four out into here. So now there are five gallons in this jug right here. So now we could measure five. Great. And we can keep going from there. So from this point, let's assume that we have five, we have four and nine. What can we get next? Well, I got one next. What I did to do that, if I cleared all the, the water that's in the four gallon jug, what I can do is to pour five from nine. So again, there are five gallons in the nine gallon jug. That's from just before. And you can use that to get the one gallon. So if we pour these five gallons into the four gallon jug, what's going to happen? Well, four of the gallons will fit in the four gallon jug because we're going to fill it all the way. So five minus four is one. That means if there are five gallons in this jug, we pour four gallons out in here. There's one, exactly one gallon left over. So now we've measured out one. And we can use that next to get six. So we can keep going with this. So we have one gallon of water. What we're going to do is to put that one gallon into, right, from the nine gallon tank into the four. So we've emptied up the four gallon tank and we poured one gallon from the nine into the four. And if we fill up the nine all the way, because it's nine gallons, of course, and if we empty it into the four, what's going to happen? Well, there's a three gallon space left in the four gallon tank. So we can only empty out three gallons from this large jug into the smaller one, which means if we start with nine, we empty three out. What's left in this tank is six gallons. So we were able to measure six and we can keep going. Now if I empty out the four gallon tank, right? Nothing left. And I put these six gallons into the nine gallon tank. I can next get two gallons. And you might see how that happens. Well, all six gallons won't fit in the four gallon tank, right? It only holds four gallons. So if we have six here and we empty them all out of the four gallon tank, what's gonna, what's gonna happen? Well, we started with six. We took four away by emptying them into here. That means two gallons exactly are left over. So from six, we can measure two gallons exactly, right? All we did there was empty the six gallons we had from the nine gallon tank into the four gallon and what's left over those two gallons is what we need. And actually next, we can use that two to get seven gallons. So we're going to empty out the four gallon tank and pour the nine, the two gallons from the nine gallon tank into the four. So we're going to use the two gallons we have that are sitting in this tank or jug or whatever and then pour it in here. So now there are two gallons in the four gallon tank. And if we fill up the nine gallon tank all the way, it gives us nine gallons. And if we pour everything we can into the four gallon tank, what's going to happen? Well, only two gallons are in the four gallon tank, but that means, of course, that only two more gallons can fit. So nine minus two is what we need. That's seven gallons of water. So if we pour out two gallons from the nine gallon tank into the four, seven are left over. And we're done with two, we're done with seven. Only two more measurements to go. What if I use these seven somehow? Well, I can. Right? I have seven gallons in the nine gallon tank. Clear this off. And I can empty out the four gallon tank. So next what I can do is get three gallons. And the way I can get three gallons is by pouring all seven, well, as much as I can, from the nine gallon tank into the four gallon tank. Right? Because only four gallons will fit over here. And seven minus four gives us a remainder of three. So three gallons will, will remain in the nine gallon tank. And we're almost done. The last one we have to measure, of course, is eight. So right now we have three gallons, okay, so three gallons sitting in our nine gallon tank. And we need to get eight gallons. So what am I going to do? Well, um, if I put the three gallons into the four gallon tank, right, I can get eight gallons. And what I can do is fill up the nine gallon tank all the way. So it's nine gallons of water in here. And if I pour what I can into the four gallon tank, right, one more gallon will fit to make four gallons. That means we're taking one gallon away from nine, and there are now exactly eight gallons in this tank. So using a nine gallon and a four gallon jug or tank or whatever, we'll be going back and forth, calling them different things. And an unlimited supply, you can measure all of these different gallons of water.